In this episode, we'll take a look at the Mic Me Pocket. First of all, what is the Mic Me Pocket? The Mic Me Pocket is a wireless microphone and recorder and a USB microphone. It's a little bit different than the original Mic Me Gold and Silver because it uses a lavalier microphone, but it is still a recorder you can slide into your pocket or it can wirelessly transmit to your phone while you're recording video on your phone. Of course, it can just record audio if that's all you need to do. It's literally just a matter of pressing the big button and you're recording. This entire episode is recorded with the Mic Me Pocket so you can hear what it sounds like. And in this particular case, we're using the kit with the Pro Lavalier Microphone. Now, little explanation. This is a prototype. This is not a product you can actually use yet. It's a Kickstarter project. So it will start shipping in December 2019. If you are interested in supporting the Kickstarter, we'll put a link for that down below. And here I'll tell you all the things about it. Again, this is a prototype, so some things could change a little bit by the time it ships, but I am told that the basically the electronics are pretty much set and uh, they're working on the app still. The app is functional today because it already works with the Mic Me Gold and Silver, but uh, they're adding some additional features here which make this really pretty interesting. Now on the Kickstarter project, they've already, at the time of this recording, more than doubled their goal. So <laughs> it has been funded and they are working for it. Also, they've done two previous products that have shipped. And so there's not a whole lot of risk. This is a company that's actually somewhat established. They've shipped over 3,500 of their original Mic Me gold and silver. So I think you're in pretty good hands here as far as the risk factor. Let's run through the pros and cons. First of all, on the pro side, excellent sound quality. The Pro Lavalier sounds great. It has a mini XLR connector, so you could replace it with other microphones if you need to do that. Here's a sound sample, completely unprocessed. Here's a sample recording of the Mic Me Pocket. I have the lavalier microphone placed just there, down here on my chest and I am in my basement studio. I have sound blankets on two sides, right and left of me, and one behind the camera. I have a carpet underneath me, a blanket on the concrete floor down here, and then we have a concrete wall back there, just so you get a sense for what this acoustical space is like. Let's give you a few moments of silence. We'll use this as our practical noise floor test, and let's see what we get. Let me just clarify how we're recording this. This is recorded to the Mic Me Pocket here, and the video is being recorded completely separately with a Nikon Z6, and then we sync them up in post. Right, recording with the Mic Me Pocket here in my car, and uh, we've got the windows open. We're in a parking lot here. You can see a little bit there. Whoops, there's my finger in the way. People doing their shopping and other errands. Um, so this is uh, streaming via Bluetooth to the Mic Me app on my iPhone XS Max. And um, this is what you could reasonably expect here. We do have a little bit of a breeze, just a little bit. I don't know. Hopefully we've got it blocked off well enough so it's not creating problems for the microphone here. Microphone is just down here on my chest. We do have the foam windscreen on it as well. So there's a sample in the car. All right, now we're doing the Mic Me Outdoors. Uh, I have the uh, lavalier microphone right here, Mic Me Pocket, outdoors. We've got a little bit of a breeze, so uh, this will be interesting to see how well the foam windscreen holds up under this. The microphone is small enough that you could actually hide it under your clothing, which I really appreciate. Um, we didn't see that with some of the other things we've tested, but this one, the one that comes with the Mic Me Pocket, is um, probably medium size, medium small, so that's really good. That makes it a little easier. And uh, Here's, I think I can't tell which direction. The, I guess the wind is coming straight at my face. Let's try the opposite direction. Looking into the sun. Now I think it's mostly at my back. So that's an, whoa, and the sun is really strong. In any case, that is the Mic Me Pocket when you're shooting outdoors. Uh, we did our own practical noise floor test. So I recorded some dialogue normalize that to minus 23 LUFS in post, and then measure the silent section. And we got some pretty good results here. So without doing anything to the audio, straight out of the recorder, normalized to minus 23 LUFS, we found that the silent section measured in at minus 60 dB 
RMS. So that's actually okay, not the greatest in the world, but as soon as we apply a high pass filter at 75 Hertz, all of that dropped away and now it sits at minus 75 dB, which is actually excellent. So you will probably want to apply a high pass filter to get rid of that kind of low frequency rumble, but once you do, absolutely clean. Now, of course, this has an inbuilt recorder. You can record up to 24-bit, 96 kilohertz wave, and it also records when you're doing video to your phone in an AAC format. It has 16 gigabytes of inbuilt memory, so you can record a long time at 48 kilohertz, 24-bit. I think that's close to an entire day of recording. It does have an inbuilt battery, and in our test, it lasted for three hours and 48 minutes, and that was recording the entire time, so that gives you a sense. That was with Bluetooth turned off. With Bluetooth turned on, it's closer to three hours. You can also power it via its USB micro input on the side here. So if you had a USB battery bank, you could extend that recording time fairly substantially. So the way this works currently with the current app is that you can actually connect this to your phone, record video on your phone, and it will record this audio to that video on your phone. So this is iOS only at this point. They're also working on an Android app, which will ship in the first quarter of 2020. The interesting thing about this as a wireless microphone system is that if you do drop the connection, it's connecting via Bluetooth, if you do drop that connection while you're recording, it's still recording a backup to the MicMe Pocket. And as soon as you're done recording and that Bluetooth signal is reestablished, it automatically syncs the audio that was backed up here on the MicMe Pocket to the video file on your phone. So you don't have to mess around with it and do any sort of syncing in post. It takes care of all that for you. It also has a 3.5 millimeter output here so you can monitor with headphones if you wanted to do that or you can send the audio to your camera if you wanted to do that. You can also use it as a USB microphone. You can connect it to your computer using the USB port here and your computer will recognize it as a class compliant USB audio device and you can use that to record directly to your computer. Now just to keep things clear you can do this without a computer as well or without a phone. If you just want to record audio you literally just plug in the microphone press the record button, and you're on your way. In terms of build quality, it is almost entirely plastic, but it seems like a fairly high density plastic that should hold up pretty nicely. Again, this is a prototype, so I'm not sure how it's going to ship in the end. I can say that the Mic Me Gold, which I also have, is actually metal and plastic and really, really well built. So I'm expecting a good high quality build quality in the end. I can say this one in and of itself, if they just keep it like this, um, it feels like plastic to me, but it feels like a really nice high-grade plastic. Some interesting things you can do with the iOS app, and actually there are two levels of apps it turns out. Number one, let's talk about the default iOS app that's working today. You can monitor the audio wirelessly. That's pretty cool. That's not something you can do with a lot of the competing products like the Tascam DR10 series or even the Electrosonics PDR audio recorder. Of course, you can set the levels, you can watch the meters, and you can remote control the pocket from your iOS device. Now, as I mentioned, there is an Android app coming in quarter one of 2020. Now there's also a pro app and adds some additional features. Some of these features are coming later, but you can record multiple Mic Me recorders at the same time. So if you have a Mic Me Gold and a Mic Me Pocket or two Mic Me Pockets, you can record both of those to video on your phone at the same time. That's pretty interesting. In 2020, we're supposed to see Filmic Pro integration. So for those of you that shoot on Filmic Pro, looks like that's coming. And then also coming in 2020 is the ability to live stream to Facebook and other social media platforms. So those are all things that are coming soon. Let's talk about some of the cons. There is no level meter on the pocket itself. So only in the apps, you do need to connect via the app if you're setting your levels just to make sure that things are going right. In my opinion, you can actually set the levels here directly with the buttons on the device itself, but all you get is a single light that will flash when you clip. So you don't have a really great view into how your levels are sitting, but with the app, you can definitely do that. Just like with the Mic Me Gold, I did find that the power button is something you can bump. So if you throw it into a bag while you're transporting it, you have to be careful that you don't bump that button, power the Mic Me on and run its battery down by the time you get to your location to shoot. And if that battery does drain all the way down, it does take about five minutes of charging before you can actually power the unit back on. So even if you do have a backup USB battery bank, it'll take a few minutes before you can actually power it back on and get back to shooting. The Kickstarter campaign actually has various levels that you can support them at, and most of them come with 12 months of free subscription to the Pro app. 
However, after that 12 month period, the Pro app will cost you $9.90 per month. I work in a day job where I'm a product manager at a software company. I understand the need to charge money for software. Software, it takes effort and it takes time and you have to pay engineers to build software and to maintain it and to add features over time. So I understand the need to charge for it. $9.90 per month seemed a little bit high to me for a situation where you've bought the hardware already. We'll see what happens with that, but uh, from my point of view, that seemed a little bit on the high side. If you wanna see all the details on pricing and the various kits that you can get, go ahead and take a look over at the Kickstarter page. I'll put a link for that in the description below. So who is this thing for? I think it's really going to be beneficial for people like wedding videographers where you need to be able to have something wireless, but you need something robust enough to record on its own in case you lose wireless connectivity. And wedding videographers have things going. They need that redundancy. They need the assurance that they're getting things. Um, but you can also, the nice thing about this relative to the other competing products that I've looked at, the Tascam DR10 series and the Electrosonics PDR, is that you can, as long as you have Bluetooth connectivity, you can monitor the audio on this. So you can see or listen to it and make sure that you're not clipping. And you can also see the meters and ensure that you're not clipping there. So you can solve problems on the fly if you need to, which is a really nice step forward for these body pack recorders. I think for the same reason this will appeal to solo shooters, so people that are out there shooting on their own, they don't have a dedicated sound person, this could be a really good option for that. And of course that also will apply to vloggers if they want to have a lavalier microphone as opposed to a shotgun microphone on top of their camera. This can be a really good option that could potentially get them much better audio even when they're not right up next to the camera. So again, there's a look at the Mic Me Pocket. Again, it is a Kickstarter project. It will start shipping in December 2019. If you're interested, I put a link down below to the Kickstarter page. Hope that was helpful for you. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave those down below. And if you have not already subscribed, make sure you do that. And we'll be sure to get you more great videos on how to improve your lighting and sound for video. Talk to you soon.